everybody. My name is James Tobolsky, and one of the hottest teams in hockey will look to keep their win streak intact on the ice tonight. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Blues win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Keeps it over on the rush. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, missed by a wide margin. Well, a wide margin from the slot, James. I mean, that is absolutely huge when you get a good look like that, and you just shank it. Look out, here they come on the attack. Tries to feed it over to Silverberg. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Michael. Feeds it to Bushnevich. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Michael. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And that's blocked from someone in front. Michael's exploring options with the puck. Hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Silverberg's got it in the offensive zone. Loves to set up at the point now. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Moves it to Crow. Hart's the competitor, and he is not to compete for every single puck and out-will and out-battle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Loses his balance on the play. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still looking for our first goal. Nice job tying up his opponent. Minnesota's in transition. Chase in front! Oh, that's a huge stop by Hurt. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. And they take possession off the trot here at their own end. Crossers into the offensive zone now on the attack. Here's a shot, and play continues as that goes off the glove. Minnesota's first half of the season was excellent, James. They're exactly where they wanted to be. If you could have written it up at the beginning of the year, this is where they would have said they wanted to be. Now it's about pushing and elevating because you know it gets harder, and the veterans certainly know it, so they'll have to lead by example and push this team down the stretch. Sends it over to Torchenko. Battling for it along the boards. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Shot! the goaltender getting a piece of that one. A reminder, the team store always accessible to you online, 24-7, 365 online. But don't forget, you can also visit their uh, location in person at the arena, open seven days a week. Check it out, some very cool stuff to get your hands on these days. Too much congestion in front. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. From point to eight. Oh, to nice look with the paddle save. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Sends it in on the attack. And the puck's booted away. Chase in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! That puck comes off his stick so fast, the goalie can't get a read on it. It's in the back of the net. The Blues are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back and forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. 
Michaels won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Silky miss and then finally puts it away. 
The Wilds have taken advantage of some opportunities here in the first and now lead it by one. Well, yeah, I do feel like they've had the edge in the play here, James, and, and they're rewarded with the go-ahead goal, but they're going to have to find a way to continue to push, continue to press, because they're in a the game. Slides it over with pace to Neighbors. St. Louis is across the line and in the offensive zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Michaels picking up steam. Here's a pass in front, and that's stopped. Scooped up along the wall by Silverberg. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hart. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Collins got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Minnesota's got to find a way to push and continue to press like they did in the first 20 minutes, James. I mean, that was impressive. They executed on their possession and found ways to attack the net. They've got a two-goal lead, but sometimes it's tough to replicate a first period when you're firing on all cylinders. Slides it diagonally to Silverberg. Here they are on the attack. Makes a save, but barely with that one. Minnesota's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here. Gouriano's called for tripping. He's off to the box.
this team. And who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. Big save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Michaels won the faceoff. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Centering to the middle. Picked off in front. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets it, someone has to have his back. what they wanted to see these two rivals do. That's what rivals do. They create energy and there's a lot of physicality and it's been right from the puck drop and it certainly was exemplified there that fight. A wild couple of minutes there and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Kane. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Quick pass to Kobe. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Buchnevich. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. From the half wall, a chance! Answered the call on that play. Well, he's got vision and he's got creativity, but you gotta have the skill set in terms of the hands to be able to make a difference and have an impact, and that's exactly what he does as he drives into the net. The goaltender keeps him at bay. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Oh, there's a blocker on it to turn it away. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. to that pass. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Now a quick pass to Phillips. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Grabs it in his own end. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Slides the puck to Stahl. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Dishes it to Torpenko. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Receives the pass. Gets a club on it. Wow, what a stop by Dubnik. And that goes off a player in front. And now it's grabbed by Granlin. On the attack, they come down the right wing. This one just gets enough to keep it out. And that's poked away by Granlin. And now he angles it across to Neighbors. Picked up along the wall by Trude. And he makes the save. Dubnik's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. The man, his team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Clutterbuck's got it along the boards. There's a collision with some authority. Stones him in front. Oh, and another big stop. Gorianov swooping in on the attack. Comes up with the stop. Niskanen's lugging the puck. Devastating hit, and what a jolt of energy for the bench, too. Stopped by the goaltender. Silverberg's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. And you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Pass 
the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Pareko's got it in the defensive zone. Drills them. The Wilds have gained possession off the wall. And now he moves it to Enron. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Levels him with the hit. Unable to reach that one. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Levels him with the hit. Across the line, down the left wall. Moves the pass in front. And that's intercepted. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Shot! Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. The Blues win the defensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked off by Fulton. What a hit on the play. Sends it down low. And now he moves it quickly to Phillips. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. I'm not sure how he saw this puck, James. I mean, he screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Moves it to Kane. Denies him with the pad. And he's knocked off the puck there. There's another stop. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Handles the puck from the left side. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Shen's knocking. Two on. Oh, here we go. Oh, it stayed out. Oh, my goodness. What a stop. Hart's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4 1 is where we sit. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Huge steal in his own end. Game management is everything, and you have to be aware of exactly what that is. And, well, you can't do that, or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Let's see what the officials are calling. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Two periods down, and there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. Stay warm and stylish here at the range with a scarf tonight. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. Minnesota's won the opening faceoff as their power play continues. Continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Gets a hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by True. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. And that one stopped. Shifley's moving it ahead. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Blocked in traffic. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puck foul along the boards. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. 
The Wild have gained possession. Oh, stopped him. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. And here at center, that's intercepted. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Quick feed to Kofi. Denies him! And that's blocked away. Taken along the wall by Kane. Beautiful read of the defensive end by Shifley. The Wild have position along the boards. Koivu's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. And that's off target as it hits a body. From the blue line. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead a big time early in the third. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to McDonough. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Niskanen. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Takes that pass back at the point. Fantastic save! And he moves it up to Ayafalo. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Minnesota's gained the line and into the zone. Gains the zone through the middle. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Heatley. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Minnesota's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Michaels won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Quick pass to Silverberg. To his teammate. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Puck grab by Shen. Here's a pass down low. There's a collision. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Turned aside with the glove by Hart. Minnesota's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Feeds the puck across to Silverberg. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Takes the feed from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Pareko. That's gloved by Dubnik. Carlin Bay is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -to -head matchup tonight. Carlin? been active in this game and even though he has no points I still think he's been more engaged I'm giving him the edge tonight guys Minnesota's got it in their own zone sends it over to Koibu shot
from the neutral zone now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Coitley. And that's a great heads up play by Shifley. Works it across to Spurgeon. Moves it on over to Thomas. Minnesota's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Minnesota's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. St. Louis has won the defensive zone draw. Shot on net. Great save by Bennington. Oh, they do it again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Dallas is coming up next on the schedule. A few select seats still remain for this one, so you better jump on them quick. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Along the right side into the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. From the slot. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the piece and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. And some good footwork to kick it away. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Strips inside the attacking zone down the left wing. There's a jolt of energy they need. Thunderous collision on the play. And look at the bench slap. And he lays him out with that collision. Quick pass across to Michael. Fires it on net. Oh, he got paddled by Bennington. Now a quick pass to Phillips. Oh, he got thunderstruck on that hit. Power forwards can be so far. Well, a sign that they haven't rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now, and you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. has to continue to press and attack here in period number three. Yeah, it was a nice play there to convert on that goal, but they need the other lines to get going, the other deep pairings as well to jump into the attack. They need just a whack load of goals here if they want to even have an opportunity at winning this game. Score! And look at that, the whistle right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. James, this is a great play all the way around. A perfect pass to a perfectly executed shot as he sets up and waits for it right in his wheelhouse. Just lets the one-timer rip. Minnesota's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Oh, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. takes it into the offensive end. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Moves it to Kane. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And a stick breaks that up. Quick feed to Colton. And it goes off the air and it stays out. Minnesota's been all over their opponent tonight. They've been dominating in all areas of the game, in particular possession in the offensive zone. This one goes right off of the post. Otherwise, they would have had an even bigger lead in this one. From the left side, takes it at center. Puts it on in. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, he's extremely dangerous when he has the puck on his stick. He's like a magician, and it's on a string. This time, though, the goaltender shuts him down. And that goes off, pulls off a body. Pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Puck scoops.
scooped up by Kane. Denies a little slaughter. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw today. Continue to push and play aggressive, and that's exactly what they did from the onset of this game. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on Ace Sports.